Hello everyone, time to grind here, and today I wanted to try out Sigil of the Magi. Uh, it is a game that is just currently just a demo. Uh, it's a game that's going to be coming out later this year in early access, but it seems like a really, really cool, like, roguelike uh, deck building turn-based game. And so this is actually a sponsored video, but I actually low-key lowballed an offer because I really wanted to play this game, but don't tell them that. Uh, because it just seemed really, really cool. So I am playing the demo. Uh, if you click the link in the description down below, you can actually try out the demo for yourself and, uh, you know, wishlist the full game. Um, but we're going to just jump into it and kind of uh, see what this game has to offer. So uh, party selection. So there's only one party available in the demo here. Uh, we have a, a royal, the Royal Vanguard, often tasked to lead the charge in battle. Uh, the Royal Vanguard. Vanguard is an elite battalion that consists of the best soldiers in the entire kingdom of Valandris. Excuse me, I'm sorry. At the behest of this council, the king has ordered the court wizard to personally bring a small party with him to investigate the rumors. So we have a knight. His passive is at the end of each of player's turn. The knight gains two armor for each adjacent occupied tile. Uh, we have an archer whose steady hands. If the archer has not moved during her turn, her damage is increased by 50%. And then we have a wizard uh, who has a uh, wizard aura plus one power to any adjacent ally. If the wizard is adjacent to two allies, plus one power to self. So we want the wizard next to our teammates. We want the archer not moving. And we want the knight probably just going up into the people's uh, faces. And uh, this is our deck. This is our deck. We'll figure it out. Um, um, and uh, so it looks like we have knight cards, we have ranger cards, and we have wizard cards. So easy enough here. We're going to just jump into it. So okay, so we got something like Slay the Spire. A tutorial tip, this is the overworld map. Your goal is to get to the end and progress to the next stage. You can travel to any point connected to your current position. You can't go backwards. Slay the Spire. There's a chest right here. Uh, after this, let's go. Let's go do this here. So you get to position your champions at the start of each battle. However, they can only be placed within the green zone. Oh, okay, so we're gonna put the knight right there. We're gonna put the archer right here. We're gonna put the mage right here. Once you're ready, press start. Okay, so we're starting it here. At the start of every turn, you draw five cards from your draw pile. Um, this is your current hand. This is your draw pile. You can click on it to check the remaining cards, but they're not in sequence. If at the start of the turn, there are not enough cards in the draw pile, you shuffle. Okay, so e easy. it's a slay the spire. Um, okay, but it seems like because I didn't draw any of my mage cards, I can't actually do my mage cards, which is interesting. So I don't know how to move people. Champions have a movement range of three tiles per turn. You can move a champion any number of tiles until their movement has been completely spent. Uh, champions can only use their associated cards, so you can play any number of cards per turn, as long as there's enough mana. Every champion has a passive, which we've already looked at. Um, and a, uh, a glowing light underneath the archer indicates her ability is currently active. Passive ability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've already looked at all of theirs. Uh, certain enemies have certain passives as well. Abilities will be displayed under their portraits. Um, okay, so I don't think any of them have uh, have this here. Um, okay, so um, we could move some if we want. What's the range of this? 10 damage. Oh, range 3 to 4. Okay, so we can move the wizard here. Bush grant 4 armor to any unit occupying this tile. Bet. Okay. Uh, let's, yeah, just uh, wait. Oh, this is the ranger. This is the ranger. Crap. Okay. Well, sure. We'll move right here. Um, let's go ahead and uh, hit that person. Once the card's playing, goes in the discard pile. Yep. Cool, cool. Um, we can go ahead and move this guy. Um, and we're just going to... I don't like that I have to hit these doggies, but it must be done. Uh, hit this guy. Once your man is depleted, you can't, yeah, and if you, unless you have zero cost. Um, so, okay, I'm going to go ahead and move back here, though. I don't know what they're, oh, okay, so we can see what they're going to be doing, I guess, here. So, end turn. So, he uh, got armor, gains two armor for each occupied tile. Oh, so this counts as an occupied tile as well. Also, that guy just jumped over to hit our archer. Holy cow. Okay, so now we actually have some magic cards. You can also store cards in your card rack. Stored cards will not go into the discard pile. However, cards cannot be played on the same turn. They are stored. If a card rack is full, the rightmost card will be discarded until the discard pile when a new card is stored. Okay, the rightmost card. Okay. You can learn more about an enemy by selecting it. The green indicates the enemy's movement range. And the red shows his attack range. Enemies are consistent and predictable. The skill that an enemy will use on its turn is shown. Um, 
Oh, this is a card rack. Here you can see the skills each enemy possesses. Oh. If within range, an enemy will always attack the champion that has the lowest HP after taking damage. You can see their preferred target by the additional border. And they follow a turn order. I uh, use the blue buttons here to check the order sequence. Okay, so attack order. Oh, okay, so you just... Oh, okay. Okay, so one, two, three. So this guy... So we can see they're all trying to attack the uh, the archer, obviously. Um, we're going to go ahead and move the wizard here. Um, Ten damage. Oh, you straight up can't... Oh, that's interesting. You can't hit p people that are close to you. Okay, deal seven damage. Okay, we're gonna kill the dog. Um, can I give armor to anyone? I can. Let's give let's give her armor, and then let's uh, have this guy hit that guy. Dog hedge some shield. That's fine. Oh, I, oh to self. Oh, defensive or well, it would have been more expensive. So, okay. So the, because the stump there, that apparently counts for the knight. Oh no, what? He's hitting the mage. Maybe because I threw armor on our, uh, you know, ranger or something. I don't know. Okay, either way. Um, deal seven damage. Um, let's go ahead and move this. That way we can actually attack that guy. Gain four armor. Inflict provoked. So this person is still going to... Okay, yeah. Wait, gain four armor. Okay, so he has to attack... Uh, provoked. Can I see? Maybe I should have looked at it there. Whatever. Seven damage. Okay, so provoked, I would assume, means he needs... Yeah, he wants to attack the knight here. Never played faster than light? Faster than light is great. I have played that a long time ago, back in the day. I also freaking love uh, their other game, um, Into the Breach. Seven damage. Um, okay, a lot of, lot of armor here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, gain five armor there. We're going to move both of these people far away here. Our knight can deal with this guy. Okay, seven damage. Um, okay, we got to move him a little bit closer here. Okay. We did it! Uh, you get rewards after winning a battle. Gold can be used uh, to buy cards and other services. Add a card as a new card to your deck. Yeah, 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 okay. Um, should you not like, you can uh, skip. Okay, so it's kind of, it's just slightly inspired. I mean, I'm glad, it's better to have an over tutorial than no tutorial. Oh, deal current armor is damage. Or we could do bleed, which I don't know how bleed works. Deal eight damage if target loses HP, inflict three bleed, which I don't really know yet how bleed works. But that seems to be upgraded. Yeah, let's do, uh, oh, here we go, bleed. Um, each tile moved deals damage equal to stack decays by one turn. Okay, that's not as good. You know what? Let's do armored slam here. Let's try to have our knight be like crazy, full on armor, you know, and just smashing people with it. Okay, we got a chest, gold. Every tenth card to be played will deal double damage. So I, I think that's literally just a uh, relic from Slay the Spire. Um, okay. Uh, the group spots a small lone figure sitting in the shadows. The figure looks up as it senses company. It's a haggard looking man, gaunt and wild eyed. Trembling, he gets up with great effort and cautiously approaches. Travelers, please hear a poor man out. I've been cursed. I will make it worth your while if you can share some of my burdens. So we either get a wound, um, but we'll get for every three cards played on a single champion in a turn, the champion gets one power. Don't know exactly what that is. Adjunct to our deck. 150 gold. Let's just let's get 150 gold. Uh, the instance the man hands over his burden, he seems a different person at once. His sunken cheeks look fuller now. Then color gradually returns to his face. He even appears to have grown taller. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You have no idea how much this means to me. He bathes the champion's farewell and departs with a spring in his step. So we want to go to a shop at some point, which is probably going to be fall the way down there. But Oh, is this an elite? Oh, dude. That, oh, Warhound Alpha. Warhound Alpha is going to summon... More warhounds? Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Um And I'm assuming armor goes away at the end of the turn, unfortunately. I would hope not. Okay. Um this this apparently is free, so I guess we'll test it here. Um 
gain grant eight armor to self and any adjacent. You know what? Let's just let's just see. I don't know. Well, current damage is armor. Okay, let's let's put this on the rack here. Save it. Okay, let's see. Does armor go away? Really hope armor doesn't go away. But I'm assuming armor goes away. Just like every game. But I just I want No! Come on! What G games, please? Let armor stay. It's so much better when you let when you let cards stay. Okay. Um Dang it, that actually saddens me. Okay. Um I don't know. I guess we'll go take care of uh Go take care of these people here. Um, oh, this is not good. Armor. Let's get rid of junk. Uh, pff, armor. Oh, crap. I should have done armor on her. Yikes. Okay. Well, probably should have seen who they were attacking. Oh, what? Now they're attacking. What? Oh, is it, was it just her? Okay. It is wolfhounds. Okay. Um, deal seven damage. So they're still trying to attack her. Everyone is trying to attack her. Okay. I see how it is. Um, so she's got armor, right? Is that what that grass is? Something like that. Um, okay. We're going to shoot. We're going to shoot. We're going to shoot the wizard staff. That's kind of cool. And uh, we're going to put the guy in the bush here. Maybe. I don't know. Actually, let's go ahead and add the... Uh, can I... Wait, wait, wait. Can I add... Wait, wait, wait. What? Oh, did I... What? I can't add this? I can't add... I can't add... Okay. I wanted to add the other thing over. Oh, wait, wait. It uses mana to put stuff on the shelf? Oh, gosh. She just... So power plus two damage to attacks and plus two armor is what power does, or I guess all that, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do a provoking thing here. Um. Okay, five armor to herself. That's free. Okay, let's do a provoke thing. Um. Grant six armor, and then we're gonna move him here. And we're going to do the armor attack. Seven. Unfortunate. Oh, wait. Cool. Wait. Okay. Yeah, we can just move. Let's move him into the bushes. Seven. Okay. I love this art style, though. I We probably should have gone for the big dog first. Oh. So now wizard's bleeding. Oh, gosh. Also, I, I didn't pay attention. Did, did our people heal? Uh, grant eight arm, seven armor to self and any adjacent allies. Can we move? Oh, I'm being blocked here. Um, nine damage. Eight damage. Okay, so let's go ahead and move right here. And defensive aura seems to be good. And we're going to do... Yikes. Eight damage there. Dude, our archer's getting screwed, I'll tell you that. Yeah, it's uh, almost like, uh, you know, pixel art, sort of like Peglin, yeah. Oh, they are murdering our archer. Oh, I wish armor didn't go away. Um. Okay. Die. Oh, what? What? Okay, give her armor. I'm gonna give her armor. I'm gonna move her. Because I can't. Oh, I could move this guy. Okay. So I can pass through my own people, but they can't pass through. You can't pass through enemies. He's already spawning more people. Yeah. Okay, we just gotta kill this Warhound. We gotta kill the Warhound here as much as I. Uh, okay. Um, Wizard Staff, nine. Nine, seven. We gotta, we gotta kill the warhound. Uh, we, we can't just keep killing the summons. Deal eight damage to an enemy with nine HP. I thought it would be enough. 
Oh no, dude, our archer's screwed. Get the free armor. Seven. Okay, so we're gonna... Okay, we're gonna move you there. We're gonna move you there. Okay, armor to everyone. Um, and then we're gonna sm do that. Yikes. Everyone's got armor this time. Well, uh, we may already lose here, though. Our archer is about to die. Um, I don't know. But I can kill my teammates. Why can't I kill my teammates? Okay, Archer's dead. Goodbye, Archer. It was nice having you. You were a somewhat valuable member, team teammate member. Oh, oh, they caught all our cards on fire. That's not, uh, that's, uh, that's not very good. It's not very good. <laughs> Uh, I think our wizard may be dead here now. Oh, yeah, because he's just buffing up the power of all the Warhound. Yeah, so now I know Warhound probably should be focusing the Warhound first. Um, Offensive aura. Just kill my teammate for funsies. He's summoning more Warhounds. Oh, I don't even know if I'm going to get an opportunity. Yeah, wizard's just dead. Okay, our knight got this. Don't even worry about it. Don't, don't, don't even worry about it. Oh, you cannot hit in diagonals. Unfortunately. Oh, yikes. I've got a lot of health on this knight, so... Okay, we're, we're surrounded. Don't worry, we got this. Seven. Seven. And then we we armor for seven. Plus, we're gonna get, what, six? Because we're being constantly surrounded, so. Oh my gosh. Two power, 11 armor to everyone. Starting to get so buff. Okay, 14. Wait, I don't know, oh, it was just that attack was extra damage. Armor. Yeah, I mean, definitely, uh, you know, we, we, we got slapped on our first elite, but that's okay. We may be able to kill this guy right now, and then maybe people come back alive. I don't know. Let's see. Seven. Do we have to kill everyone? Oh, we have to kill everyone. We have to kill everyone. Yeah, okay. Well, I don't, I don't think there's a chance then. If, if, if they all would have gone away when I killed the elite, then maybe we could have... Hey, yeah, no, it's over. I don't think they can go through each other, though. Like, I can go through them or each other, but... Like, my allies... So we heal... Yeah, we're dead. Because they're doing 10 damage each, yeah. Okay. Hey! Officially lost our first run here. Return to the main menu. Okay. Let's try this again here. Let's try this again. Um, add two random cards to your deck or pick a card in your deck, transform it to another random card. Okay. Um, let's get rid of the... Um, just the grant six armor to someone maybe? I don't know. Transform this to something else. Teleport. Whoa. Whoa, what? For free, select a target and teleport it to another position. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's uh, let's go down here. Let's try going down this path here. Okay, so we got some uh, bandits here, and we have a brawler. Acquire passive ability. Oh, okay, so we want to kill this brawler like immediately, probably. Okay, I'm gonna murder this brawler because he is going to be constantly gaining power here. So, um, I don't know. Defensive aura seems really nice. But I don't, I don't know how much movement they have. I don't know. But let's just try to kill this dude. This guy's going to keep permanently getting, like, stronger and stronger. Seems like a decent idea. Um, 
you know, to, to murder him. Just like the cultists and slay the spire. Okay, wizard took a little bit of damage here. There's his passive that's going to be buffing him. So we will murder him. Do that. Okay. Um, can we just teleport him? Yeah, just go over there. Oh, I actually don't know why I did that. Okay. So we provoked him. Let's go ahead and move. So that guy at least will be attacking this. Hey, Leo. I'm doing good. We're checking out this uh, cool new uh, or upcoming roguelike deck builder tactic games. Very interesting. Getting our butt kicked, but that's okay. Okay, we're gonna. Um, I'll see if they get up close to the archer. I can't. I can't do much there. Um, okay, we can move further away and then shoot. But that's gonna make us do less damage because her passive is if she doesn't move, she increases her damage by fifty percent. So. Um. Okay. Well. Shoot! Murder! Okay, so let's see do we heal. So she was at 54 health. Uh, blunt force, line unlimited. Oh, deal 6 damage. Knock back target by one tile. Deal 8 damage. Gain armor equal to half of the damage done to target's HP. So we would do 8 damage and he would heal 4. It seems okay. Seems pretty decent. We'll try that out. Um, what we get here? So they do not seem to heal. Um, if two or less cards were played during your turn, gain one mana next turn. Stirring cards does not count as playing. I don't really... So maybe if we have expensive cards. A stout figure approaches from afar, draped in fur, his face almost entirely enveloped by a thick, wiry beard. The old man ex exudes a calm yet powerful aura. A shaman? Uh, greetings, travelers. Could I interest you in some services? Uh, upgrade a card. Remove a card. Uh, let's upgrade a card. What happens if we upgrade this draw blood? 10 damn, yeah. Can we, okay, can we upgrade multiple things? Nope. Good choice. There's the barest hint of a smile beneath the old man's massive beard. He turns and walks away without another word. Okay, we could go to a shop here and then fight an elite. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do a shop and then an elite. We died to an elite last time, but that's okay. Oh, this music's salty, or not salty, spicy. Um, I don't have enough gold for a uh, one of those, but if we want really expensive cards, maybe. Deal 11 damage whenever you play this card. Minus one mana cost for this combat. That's cool. Deal 8 damage to a 4 tile. To 4 tiles in a cone shape. Um, the bleed. Leap to another position, ignoring obstruction. Doesn't count as moving and draw a card. For the archer? Ooh, that's amazing. We'll buy that. And let's go ahead and buy the momentum. That's going to keep getting cheaper and cheaper. So we have decent cards here. So now we're going to go to an elite fight here. Okay, well, let's look at what their passives are. Deal 11 damage, knockback, basic, basic. Uh, okay, th th there's, the, there's the freaking nerd that's going to keep, uh, he's going to keep, uh, whatever it's called. Actually, I want him there. Um, no, I lied. Um, that guy's going to be getting buffed. So we want to kill this guy first, then maybe the archer? I don't know. Um, okay, let's let's start. Sp we gotta we gotta sprint. Last time we let them come to us, and that was not the play. Um, so we're going to leap to this part here. We drew a card. I don't think I can shoot anything, so we're gonna. Yeah, we literally can't do anything. Uh, let's go ahead and put. Yeah, so that does cost mana to put stuff there. Uh, might as well put everything we can here, right? Deal six to three. I'm gonna just put the. Um, knights. A bunch of stuff on this rack. The rack is an interesting mechanic. That that's unique to this game that I haven't seen any any anyone else do. So everything else kind of like you know mechanics that I've seen in other games, but that one's kind of interesting. Um, okay, so we're gonna move this guy. Cannot actually, unfortunately, get him anywhere close to anyone. But we're gonna do that. Um, I can't shoot anyone, unfortunately. Oh wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I can teleport our, uh, I can teleport him right there. Oh, now you guys are screwed. Now you guys are screwed. Um, deal 10. Boom. We're going to provoke. It's weird that you can only provoke one person. Um, and now we could probably move. Uh, 
Oh, I still can't shoot, dang it. If I moved... Nope, yeah. Actually, I could... No. Um, wait, no, no, I have these things here. Seven damage. Cool, kill that guy. Seven damage. Kill. Start killing this wizard, dude. The bandit cleric. Um, might as well... Uh, we'll store the shoot, and then we'll just uh, defend ourselves. Okay, see? Wow, okay. The, the, the storing stuff... Kind of cool. Kind of cool. And the cleric. And I like how it's it's managing the party system. How you just have the movement. The movement isn't hindering uh, your stuff. Because, um, yeah, I don't know. Normally, I'm not super into the... I love deck building roguelikes, but I'm not normally into when it's like it becomes a tactics game. But this one's actually pretty decent. Um, that momentum's really good. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna move here, get up in their face. She just has free armor. I don't know if she needs it. Yeah, someone's trying to attack her. Um, okay, momentum. So this is gonna get cheaper and cheaper. We're gonna keep hitting this dude, the wizard. Um, it's kind of wizard staff. Yeah, wizard. Or we could defensive aura. Now defensive aura. Maybe you know what? Let's defensive aura here. Actually, give everyone eight. Yeah. Minus one mana cost, powerful. Yeah, because now it's free, I'm pretty sure. That card's just free for the rest of the game. Hey, yeah, I'm glad I, uh... Oh, healing wave. Dang. Okay. Draw blood here. Okay, we're, this, this wizard gotta go here. This wizard gotta go. Um, far shot. Murder that wizard. Murder kill that wizard. Can we teleport? Dude, it's just... <laughs> Dude, that teleport's pretty cool. <laughs> for free like get out of here man okay so they're oh shit okay they, yeah they're, they're going after our archer here grant now like two power and ten armor yeah okay, that's glad we've been going after this person okay defensive aura the thing is i think we need some damage here though Ooh, leap actually yeah let's leap over in this corner here okay um uh, unfortunately, that means we're not going to be able to... Okay, we're just going to waste all our mana there. Going to kill this wizard here. Wizard staff. Unfortunately, like I said, it means that we do not get um, to armor ourselves, but we need to kill that wizard because that wizard's buffing people up here. Oh, gosh, that archer. Um, Momentum is free now, though. We got we to follow up. We got to follow up here. Get out of here. 11 damage. 10 damage, killed the wizard. Free. Let's teleport the bandit further away, probably. And I guess we'll start hitting uh, this guy, because he, he, yeah, he got a bunch of power added to him, so. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, yeah, shoot. Good shoot. I had that stored. Yeah, the storage system is really cool. Especially for this type of game where. Oh, gosh. Okay, we're going to hit. We're going to teleport you right there. That way we can hit you like that. Nice. Then we can hit you like that. So we got one more person here. Um, move there. See, I can't. Okay, yeah. Move the wizard away. Move these people away. Hopefully, maybe they'll go after him. But it seems like they go after, yeah, the low HP people. Holy. Oh boy. Okay. Um, I gotta move here. Draw blood. Ten damage, and then we have a slash. Okay. We actually beat the lead fight this time here, though. It's minus one for all cards. It looks like one costs aren't depleting mana. Oh, are you sure? I thought it was just that one. Are you sure? Deal one damage whenever you play this card. Minus one mana cost. For this combat. I'm pretty sure it's just for momentum. But I don't know though. Huh. We'll have to keep an eye on that. So much of gold. We got the Warhorn on the first turn of each combat. Gain one mana. Draw one additional card. And now Life Drain. Deal nine damage. If target is killed. Heal two HP. That's not a lot of healing. Um, sh deal two damage. Shoot three arrows at any target. Um, okay. We'll take Life Drain. I don't know. Neither of those were... None of those sounded great. Okay, so it seems like we have to do a combat here before we can do a rest. Cannot do another elite fight, though. I'll tell you that. Okay. Um, th let's let's go after this. Uh, anyone? Oh, dude. Two berserkers here. So we got to deal with the berserkers uh, first. Actually, let's, let's do something like that. Okay. 
Okay, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get over there. Um, okay. Boom. 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 And still cannot shoot anyone. Oh, actually, I might be able to far shot? I could far shot. Um, I could also provoke momentum. I can't, I don't have any more movement, so. Far shot. Hit these berserkers. They look like lumberjacks. Okay, so we'll, uh, you know, do that, and, man, okay, well, put momentum in our thing, slash, okay, so unfortunately the berserkers are over there, can they see if you're in grass or behind a rock stump, I believe they can see you, the grass just uh, gives you extra armor if you end your turn in grass. Oh, dude, they're trying to kill my wizard. Holy cow. Okay, so this berserker here. Let's, uh, momentum. So nine. Okay, here we go. Nine. Ten damage if they're killed. We heal two HP, guys. You grant four armor to any unit occupying this turn at the end of the turn. Uh, telep- Okay, so let's, um... Everyone's targeting the wizard here. I can very clearly see that. Uh, let's teleport you... Like, I don't know, elsewhere. So now they have to target, I think, the... There's, how are you still going to get to... I wish I could see how much movement they have. I don't really know how to see how much movement they have. I'd hide in the grass the entire time. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do with our mage here. Um, okay, unfortunately, I really want to kill that berserker, but it doesn't seem to be wanting to happen. So we're going to just... Boom. Boom. And then get out of here. We'll defend. Um, I th yeah, the, the prop like they have to move around the props. They can't like step on them. And you know the grass, like I said, gives a uh, armor or whatever. Yeah, obstacle, obstacle. So it's just an indestructible obstacle blocking your path. Okay, draw blood. Um, leap to another position. Um, okay, we're gonna, actually, yeah, we'll leap right here for free, draw a card, wizard staff, uh, defensive aura seems to be pretty good for those two people, unfortunately, that means, I don't know, ah, uh, stop hitting me, oh, okay, 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 that's fine, that's fine. Okay, so let's try this momentum thing. So 11 damage. So now, let's see. Okay, yes. So momentum only applies to to itself. Which I guess makes sense. Um, we're going to have you run in that bush, you in that bush. Oh, wait a minute. Far shot. Okay, yeah, we'll start. I don't know targeting that person. Okay. They got a little bit of armor. No, she's still going to shoot him. Yikes, dude. At least we have a rest after this. I don't know how good rests are. Um, seven damage. Um, we're going to leap right here. So I can actually do that. Nice. Then we can life drain. Kill the wizard by two. It's so threatening, isn't it? Okay, we're gonna teleport the wizard. Um, I don't know, all the way over there. He's still gonna get to the wizard, probably. And I can't move, oh, I can move this guy to kind of like protect him, okay. What are you gonna do now? Really looks like it was for the other cards, yeah. It's not like, you know, the most, most clear, but that's, that's okay. Okay, so kill, hit. Oh, what? Ten da I don't actually have enough damage to kill. So I guess we'll just defensive aura. Just keep teleporting him away. <laughs> just keep teleporting him away. Okay. And get out of here. Okay. We get to rest. Uh, deal nine damage, inflict vulnerable to all adjacent tar. Oh, fireball. Deal nine damage, burn a random hindrance card in hand, if any. Oh. 
want to burn the enemies, not hindrance cards off my hand. Um, evasion, gain five armor, jump to another position. Ignoring obstruction doesn't count as moving. I guess let's do whirlwind. I don't know. Okay. Or we could, we could, ah, yeah, let's rest down here. There's two rests in a row here. So, okay. Individual heal. Uh, heal up everyone or upgrade a card. So we're going to do a, um, an individual heal <laughs> for our wizard. That is not that strong of a heal. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Let's get a chest. Um, at the start of each combat, discard any number of cards. Draw that many. Okay. Too bad it didn't do burning damage over time. That's what I, was, I know, right? That'd be more exciting, honestly. Okay, so we'll do some stretches while we look at the shop here. Uh, once again, we cannot afford uh, the things. Relics here. Uh, deal five damage. If target loses HP, attack again. Mm. Okay, inflict provoke to all adjacent enemies. Gain seven armor out of junk. Seven damage knockback. Oh, the leap is nice. You know what? We're gonna go. We're gonna buy Bello and we're gonna buy another leap. I don't know. Okay, so another heal. This one I'm gonna go ahead and do a group rest. And now we're fighting the boss here, I suppose. Okay. Oh, that is a that's a scary looking boss. So we got two berserkers that are getting buffed over time, and then we have this guy who seems to just be. Um, I don't. Know, can I see what his cards are here? His cards are, um, target loses power. Oh, he's going to be hitting people. Oh, remove all. St okay. And so we did, we do still need to kill that guy. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's get up in this, this guy's face here. Um, very smaller thing here. Also, I guess what we can discard cards. I don't know. Start. Is it going to allow us to discard here? When do we get to discard? Uh, I guess I didn't know how to do it here. Okay. Um, so, we want... What, what is... Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay, oh, now I get to discard. Okay, so wizard staff not going to do much here. That's not going to do much. Discard. Okay. So now we're going to get up in their face. Um, we're going to provoke him. Um, shoot. Let's have him... Uh, Let's have her uh, leap right here. Fortunately, not in one of the bushes, but we can give her free armor. Okay, we want to... Oh, we still can't shoot? What? Can't hit anyone. Okay. it's unfortunate. Well, then we'll move in there. Start hitting this person. Uh, mo momentum, so that gets cheaper. We'll just slash. We'll have the mage kind of come over here, because his passive is plus one power to any adjacent ally if the wizard's adjacent to two allies. Plus one power to sell. So he's, you know, he's buffing people up, I think. Unless it's just a... No, no, that's just all... Okay, we should have had that first. Okay. So they're, they're getting their buffs. But I still think we got to prioritize the boss, though. Okay. Um, defense aura. Ooh, defense aura could be good. But that means no attack. I don't know. I think we just... I think we just need to murder kill him. Um, we could... I don't want to leap, though. Can I leap in the same place? Let's, 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 st ah, no. Okay. Uh, all defensive aura. Probably not the play. Can I teleport her into this? So then I can have her leap right there and draw a card, which did nothing. Got to defend out of our deck, so. Okay, okay. Gonna protect them a bit here. They're, they're just going after my ranger because they're going after the low HP people. Oh, Bellow. Gain 14 armor, invoke, inflict provoked to all adjacent enemies. So it'll be for those two. Or we could draw blood. I don't know. Or do we need to kill these people? I could see us needing to kill these people too, though. So let's, uh, I don't know. Yeah, we're, I'm changing my mind. We're killing these people here. Ah, dang it. I can't. Life drain. We'll store. Uh, we'll store. No, no, no. Ah, I shouldn't have stored a far shot. Okay, I don't know. I don't know if I made the right decision. See, I don't know. I feel like I need to be on the offense instead of just doing bellows and defenses. I feel like these guys are getting buffed here. So, 
That's why I'm feeling like we need to need to, to pick it up, right? Okay, wizard staff, nine. Oh gosh, we're getting nerfed here. Okay, whatever. So slash, slash, killed one of them. We're gonna leap uh, right here. Free armor. Okay, let's start hitting this guy here. I think I think we're fine. We'll we'll put the teleport in there for free. Oh what? I can't put the teleport in there? Okay. Um So we're gonna leap right there. We're gonna move this guy right here. Eight damage inflict vulnerable to all adjacent targets. It's pretty sick. Oh wait, that's hitting. Never mind. That would hit my wizard. I don't know if I want that. Okay, we killed that guy. Now we just have the boss to deal with. Okay, let's uh, move you there. Move you there. Okay. 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 This seems to be okay. Maybe storing mana always costs more mana. I don't know. Oh gosh. Yeah. Still, still some of this stuff we got to figure out. Momentum is just free now. Slash. I cannot do either of these sh shoots. We gotta just move here. Shoot. Shoot. So is he gonna just keep going for her? He's gonna just straight up keep going for her. Except, wait, what if I teleport him even f further there? He still reach her? I don't know. He's gonna still try. Nope. Okay. 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 Um, far sh Wait, why can't I? Oh, okay. Well, we'll leap right here. Whirlwind. Okay, far shot. We're gonna move right here. Draw blood. Sleep, uh, I don't know, right here. Wizard staff. Okay, let's, uh, let's get, let's get these both in a bush. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> He's still gonna run after probably the. Oh gosh, dude. Oh, that was all they did. Okay. Um. Okay, that's free. Yeah, we're we're starting to do less and less and less here. Wizard staff. Life drain. We're gonna go ahead and move right here. Yeah, I do need to have him next to my uh, wizard here. Okay, draw blood. Uh, free heal there. Or not heal, but armor, life drain. We're gonna teleport you back over to this corner. Okay, let's, uh, I don't know, let's do something like this. So both of the weak people are in the bush. That might make... Yeah, they're going to keep going for the... Oh, gosh, Archer's at 4 HP, y'all. Okay, this is okay, though. So we're going to... Momentum. We're going to slash. Oh, I should have had the wizard. Whatever. Okay, we're going to leap as far away as we can. Shoot. Um, let's get right here. Let's have this guy right here. Oh, I didn't have a defensive aura. Also, I can't, I think, I don't know. It might cost the cost of the card. Cause it, yeah, I don't, I have one mana, but I can't um, do that. Okay. He's still going to probably kill the archer. Yep. Goodbye, archer. I wonder if, if she comes back. I don't know. Cause I imagine we should be able to still finish this off. Yeah. Literally the turn after. Okay. Killed the boss. Um, deal nine damage. Grant four armor three times to any target. Two armor if the target has only been selected. Okay, let's let's do that. Bonus. Plus one mana every turn. Plus one card draw every turn. Yeah, plus one mana every turn seems probably the best right there. Should have just ran away. I thought I moved her. Okay. Oh, she's just fully healed, so we're fine. Um, yeah, let's go up. There's a chest, a rest, and then an elite fight here. Um, okay, Death Wish. When this unit dies, creates a bomb on the title it occupied at 
half or less HP split into two slime minis with the same HP. All right, there's like so the spire. Okay, what is this? Rune of immunity grants three armor and one immunity to any unit occupying this tile at the end of the turn. Um, wait, why is our wizard dead? Oh, we just hadn't placed it. Okay. I guess there's that. Uh, we can get rid of um, the. Why do we have a all oh, wound? Because someone died probably. So let's get rid of the wound. Um, let's get rid of defend. Cool. Discard. Okay. Get up in here. Uh, provoke the bomb, dude. Um, free that thing. Okay, let's start, uh... Oh, I can't... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's start hitting the bomb guys, maybe. I don't know. Um, okay, we'll do a defensive aura. Sounds solid. We'll go store the, uh, slash... Wait, where did my slash go? Maybe it just doesn't show up. So maybe you have to pay the cost of the card to put it on the rack and then it's free. I don't know. Also, what are these? Inflict two poison on any unit that comes into contact. Inflict again at the start of the turn. Okay. Um. Okay, so we're going to slash. So where's this bomb? Deals eight damage to all adjacent units at the end of the enemy's turn. Other units can move through this tile, but not. Oh gosh. Okay, we got to get away from this bomb here. Oh, so did I just take two damage for being poisoned? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, life. Yeah. Shoot that. Life drain. So can we play slash? Okay, so you pay the cost early, and then you can play it for free. That makes sense. Yeah, it shows the enemy's rack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I keep forgetting adjacent isn't um, diagonal. Okay. Um, let's get up in here. 11 damage. So it seems like... Oh, wait. I should have... Apparently, you can just restart a turn for free. That's... Can you do this as many times as you want? That's pretty good. So kill that one. Can we teleport the bomb? Yeah, just teleport the bomb away. And uh, we'll go ahead and leap here. Uh, I, was, I was hoping to... Uh... Actually, who are you targeting? Yeah. Ooh, that's pretty solid. Okay. Big brain move. Yeah, those bombs aren't too bad. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, uh, plus one range and power debuff minus one range and power. What? Oh, at the end of turn. So it helps us for one turn. Uh, eight armor, draw a card. I guess we'll do Farsight. I don't know. Okay, chest. At the end of a turn, all champions gain one armor for each card start in the card rack. Ooh. That's interesting. So rest here. You know what? We're going to upgrade a card here. That's probably not the play. Probably should be healing people. Momentum. Yeah, let's make let's upgrade momentum. Momentum's insane. Okay. Um, do we want to do an elite? Let, 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 we'll, we'll do an elite eventually here. Let's let's go to an event. As the group ventures deeper into the cave, they come upon a troll blocking the only way forward through a tunnel passage. The troll steps forward, chest puffed, a massive club in hand. Stop. Pay the troll, or face the club. Unfortunately, fighting the troll here would likely cause the tunnel to collapse itself. It seems the only option to play the toll, so permanently remove a card from the deck. Wait, yeah. Are you going to let me remove a wound? That's pretty good. Good, good. You may pass. Troll steps aside. Now, that's a big brain move right there. Okay, so we'll do a... Uh, we'll do a... We'll do a... Heal in the archer. Back to full. 
Okay, so which elite do we want? Probably this elite, because then we get a chest and a shop after. Oh, okay, so it's just a big, it's a slime king. Passive slimes all around at one fourth or less HP, split into slimes with the same HP. Okay. Okay, and then those will turn into mini slimes. So we'll go there. We'll go here and here. Okay. And then we could get rid of um, life drain. We can get rid of arcane shields and bellow. Discard. So now here's here's the 10,000 IQ play. We put farsight. We put leap. We put leap on there. So everyone's getting three armor per turn because of the frozen teardrop. Hey, Afi, can you heal me instead? Oh, yeah, sure, bud. <laughs> yeah, for real. Hey, Wordy. Okay, so we're gonna... Oh, we cannot get up in his face, unfortunately. Whirlwind, deal nine damage, inflict vulnerable to all adjacent. Ah, Jason doesn't work like that. Dang it. Whatever. Okay, we'll get uh, Rune of Immunity. Okay, yeah. We're gonna store a lot here. We'll put a... Uh... Yeah, draw blood. Okay, so everyone's getting four... Shield per turn because we have it on a on a rock. Oh gosh. Okay. Well Yeah, he's, he's kind of doing that thing Um, okay. Well, we have plenty of mana here We will um Defensive aura everyone can wizard staff Um five armor. We're gonna provoke you We're gonna go ahead and teleport you right there We're gonna shoot you and I'm gonna just keep I'm gonna keep four things in my rack here that way everyone's just shielding four so the teardrop is at the end of the turn. All champions gain one armor for each card stored in the rack. I have a rack of four, so everyone can just get four per if I just leave that in there. Uh, momentum. Far shot. Slash. Free armor. Okay, it's going pretty well. I mean, obviously, the slime's going to split, so... Oh, he's going to just keep moving there. Ooh, okay, okay. Let's see. I'm going to keep just teleporting you, though. Keep just teleporting. You gotta, you gotta work for that. Oh, is he about to split? I don't know what his health started with was. That's not bad. Wait, we could just kill him right here. Um, okay. You know what? We're gonna far sight. We are gonna go ahead and play far sight here. So far shot. Cause we want to. Oh, it happens immediately. It's not like slay the spire. Okay. Oh gosh, yeah, it happens immediately. I wasn't expecting that. Um, okay, we'll go ahead and play. I wanna kill these dudes here. I don't really wanna deal with them. Um, and uh, armor, armor, armor. Okay, so getting a little less armor. I was hoping we could, uh, you know, try to, like, kill them before they got to the one-fourth or whatever. Like you can kind of do in Slay the Spire. But, you know what? Probably probably is better that it works like this. Uh, it could provoke all enemies. That actually might be decent. Um, yeah, let, let's go ahead and provoke. No, it's all adjacent. Yeah, adjacent doesn't really mean much here. Um, okay, we're gonna, gonna move you right there. We're gonna move, uh, yikes, you right there. I don't know. Move you right there. Slash. Wizard staff. Free armor. Can I move the wizard some more? Nice. I'll just put whirlwind on the rack just to give everyone more uh, armor okay momentum 17 damage yeah let's 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 save yes yeah, 17 bam um, seven drop blood wizard staff let's go okay um, ooh, okay bleed grant eight armor inflict one bleed Still 12 damage, inflict vulnerable and weak. Ooh, heavy swing, I like that. Uh, when you play seven or more cards in a single turn, all champions gain one power. Ooh, let's get us a chest here. Uh, at the end of the turn, grant the champion with the lowest health six armor, that's pretty good. Okay, let's buy some cool stuff. Um, 
Every 10th card, double damage. At the end of turn, any champion without armor will gain four armor. On even number turn, all even numbered attacks inflict a vulnerable. Sure. Um, let's get another teleport. And... Burn two cards in hand, plus two... Pa uh, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll leave it like that. Okay. So we get a rest here. We'll go ahead and just uh, group heal. Now we have boss two. Can we beat boss two? I don't know. Okay, what do we got? Uh, soul bind. If this unit dies, it will be revived at 50% HP after three turns, so long as there's other units with soul bind. Okay, this is taking a lot of inspiration from um, Slay the Spire, because this is just the, uh, the slimes in Act 3. Um, okay, so we have to kill them all in the same turn, which is going to be a um, interesting thing to try to do here. Okay. This game looks kind of sick. It is cool. I definitely think some of the cards can maybe be slightly more interesting. I think a lot of the cards kind of do similar things. Um, but it is it is very interesting, though. Um, so let's go ahead and we're not going to be able to... Slash is not going to be able to do much for us. Arcane Shield is a defensive aura. All those can get discarded here. I love the art style here. Yeah, we're, 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 tr we're, we're slowly learning here, aren't we? Okay. Um... Dexterity will throw up there. Um, teleport will throw up there. Draw blood will throw up there. And um, Bello will throw up there. Okay. Let's go ahead and leap right here. So teleport. I could teleport him. Ooh. Okay, let's just teleport him way forward. Maybe a bad thing, but... Oh, yeah, within three turns. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Oh, what did they just do? Six. It's kind of hard to see all the... I don't know what just happened to me. Whatever. Um, okay. All right, we got this. Um... Far shot. Okay, far shot. Let's get some momentum up in here. Momentum. Uh, slash. Wizard staff. Do we want to use any of these here? 10 damage. Yeah. 15. Inflict provoked to all adjacent. I don't think we need to use those. Yeah. So we want to keep them to give everyone free armor. Oh, they're adding stuff to our junk. That's not nice. Oh, Grant, three regenerate and thorns. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, do I have a leap? I do have a leap right here. Let's move the mage right here. Okay. Flick provoked. So this is just free, so we'll provoke you. Uh, shoot. I want to get everyone down, like, sort of low together. And then we'll play junk here. Just get it out of our deck. Oh man, that healing. Heavy swing. Okay. Um Murder you. Far sight. We'll throw a far sight. Junk. Just play junk. Play junk. We gotta get him out of our deck here. Okay. Enemies shouldn't be allowed to heal. Why not? It's, it's a, you know, as interesting mechanics. Oh, we, we just gotta do some damage here. Okay, we're gonna hurt our mage, but that's just that's just gotta be what's gotta happen here. I'm sorry, it's just gotta be what's gotta happen. Um, okay, I think I think we gotta kill some people here, maybe. I don't know, maybe I'm spreading out my damage too too much. Cause they're the bad guys. <laughs> I don't know about that. Okay, wizard. Okay, let, let, we got we gotta we gotta start killing people. I mean this is getting ridiculous, quite honestly. It's getting a bit crazy. Um, okay. You can get I don't know, over there. Defend. Oh gosh, junk. Junk. I don't know about this. Yeah, maybe we're the bad guys. 
<laughs> I can't heal. Maybe I'm the bad guy. Yeah. Oh, they are totally just trying to murder this. Yeah, oh my god, the healing! Stop it! Oh! There's might, restoration, and disruption. So this is the one healing people. Okay, well you could you could get out of here. Um We're gonna we're gonna go over here, maybe. Okay, life drop. We need to kill the healer. That's what needs to happen right now. Um I don't even care about Yeah, we'll defensive aura. Okay, we need to kill that healer. They're doing a charity for local school. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's kill this healer. The problem is they're gonna just, yeah, keep reviving though. Heavy swing. Enough to, okay, we killed that guy. All right, so we have three turns before that one comes back alive. Yeah, it's probably this disruption one. It's giving us all the junk. Okay, shoot this. Teleport you, I don't know, over there. Let's go ahead and uh, teleport. Oh, I don't. <gasps> hmm. Okay, whatever, junk, junk. I don't know. And the longer this fight goes, uh, it seems to be getting all this power and stuff. Uh oh. Okay, wizard staff for that one. Sleep right here. Okay, we'll move right here. Defensive aura. Get rid of one junk. Oh, I did not mean to. Wait, did I? Oh, I just put a junk in there. That's not what I meant to do. So this guy's literally about to already come back alive. With like, oh my god, yeah, I don't know, how, I don't, I don't. This is like a DPS check that I don't. Yeah, let's do that. So we killed one. Okay, now we're gonna go back on this healer again. You get a card that lets you burn two cards in exchange for a good attack. Junk could be useful. Yeah, could be. This is definitely an endurance match right here. Okay. Um, okay, here we go. Gonna hurt the mage again. Whatever. It's gotta be done. Okay, okay. Just gotta keep getting more damage. Keep needing more damage. Oh, stop healing yourself. Ooh, okay, 11. Okay, we're going in the bush here. Doesn't matter. Heavy swing. Momentum. Ooh! Leap. Into something. I don't know. Okay. Oh, but that guy's about to get revived. Dang it! Dang it! We were so close to beating it, but now that one's about to res. Oh. Yep. Hmm. Um... Okay. Okay. Now we gotta start whomping on this guy. Um. Let's put the. Replace the junk. I don't know. Okay. Okay. We got one turn maybe to kill this. This, uh. Disruption one. Okay. Ten. T oh, dang it. Oh, I have a leap. I have a leap. And uh, you know what? We'll go ahead and uh, far sight because we're gonna need it. Ten damage. That didn't even seem to help. What's up with that? Okay, slash. No. No. We keep getting so close. We don't have the damage. We don't have the damage. Okay, 10 damage. 10 damage. And then we're we're back we're back at square one cuz now this guy is about to res. Oh, this is not This is uh This is not working out here, is it? Hmm. 
Now, oh yeah, we're, we're, this is, I don't, I don't, I don't see any way to win this actually. Um, life drain. Can I teleport you in a boat? Yeah, okay. I put him in the poison bush. I don't know. Stock damage for a couple of rounds. Could try to put him in our thing here. Heavy swing, 14. Okay, you're dead. Okay, 11. Okay, we'll put leap in there. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait a minute, here we go. Okay, 18 damage. 11 damage. Um. Do we have a teleport? I don't. So I cannot actually get over there. I can maybe draw another card, I don't know. Farsight. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace. So I'm gonna put Slash in there. Okay, okay, all we gotta do is to kill that person this turn here. Are you sure you're not you're not spamming caps? Because normally that's the only time that a Nightbot does that. Um, Nightbot is uh, is real particular with that. I'm I'm sorry. Um. Oh, we we're not gonna be able to wait. I have eight damage. That's not gonna be enough, though. That's not gonna be enough. Oh, we have leap. We have leap. Give me give me a damage card. <gasps> we did it. We did it. It only took like ten thousand years. Congratulations, you've won. Ultimately, this is the end of the demo. Try a different run by exiting to the main menu and playing again. Thank you. Huh. Okay. So we, we, we beat the game. We beat the demo, at least. Because this is just a demo here. But hey, we freaking did it. That only took us like 10,000 years during that fight. So uh, yeah, I think this is this is a really, really promising uh, roguelike, you know, deck building kind of tactics game, you know. Uh, you know, do want to give a huge shout out uh, to the devs for sponsoring the video. Uh, make sure you guys click the link in the description down below to, you know, wishlist the game um, and uh, try out the demo for yourself if you're interested in that. Um, and, uh, you know, yeah, really, really, really interesting. I think, you know, maybe adding some more interesting cards and stuff like that because uh, it's a lot of the cards kind of felt very similar. Maybe make it a little bit more clear of what status effects are happening and stuff like that. Obviously, add a bunch more content. I think this will be a pretty cool game. So either way, uh, really, really cool demo. Uh, interested in keeping an eye on this game in the future. Uh, just, you know, huge shout out to them for sponsoring the video. Uh, so yeah, if you're going to be grinding out some of the uh, demo on your own, links in the description down below. You know, wish you guys luck. Uh, consider subscribing, ringing that bell, like all the big boy YouTubers say. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.